Differences between narrative review and scoping review. Narrative review versus scoping review. Narrative review is a thorough and critical overview of previously published research on the author's specific topic of interest. Whereas, scoping review is useful to map the literature on evolving or emerging topics and to identify gaps. The research question of narrative review is broad in nature, whereas the research question of scoping review is often broad in nature. The objective of narrative review is to provide evidence on statement being made in study, whereas the objective of scoping review is used to identify parameters and gaps in a body of literature. The source of narrative review is usually not specified and can be biased. Whereas, the source of scoping review is criteria-based and applied uniformly. The selection of narrative review is usually not specified and can be biased. Whereas, the selection of scoping review is usually not specified and can be biased. The evidence of narrative review is based on few articles. Whereas, the evidence of scoping review is based on thousands of records searched from databases. The type of research used in narrative review is qualitative research. Whereas, the type of research used in scoping review is based on synthesis, more qualitative research and typically not quantitative research. The duration of search process of narrative review are based on weeks to months. The duration of search process of scoping review are based on months to years. In short narrative review or tradition our literature review is a critical, comprehensive and objective analysis of the current knowledge on a topic. Whereas, scoping reviews are designed to map the existing evidence and can be considered to be a precursor to systematic reviews. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper. Thanks for watching.